Hello everyone and welcome to another YouTube tutorial for Kerbal Space Program. This time we are featuring precise landings with an SSTO, so this will be rather an intermediate tutorial and if you don't know how to build or fly SSTOs yet, I suggest you check out other tutorials first. Anyway, the first thing to do is to get a Kerbal or vehicle close to the runway. This allows us to target that vehicle later on from orbit, which makes it way easier for us to land exactly where we want, namely on the Kerbal Space Center's runway. I am using the method of planting a flag close to the runway. The pros of the method are that you don't have a vehicle standing in your way when you approach the runway, but you have to keep in mind to activate flags in the map overview from the mission control center, which I of course forgot. We are now putting our craft into orbit and as you might see in a few seconds I really didn't use the best approach here since I have to burn a lot of extra fuel in order to achieve what I want, namely an orbit around the planet and this costed me around 600 delta V in comparison to an earlier ascent I did just a few minutes ago. So you see that the right ascent met method matters a lot. Now that we are in orbit, you can see the little ship icon on the map overview. This happens when you don't recover your vehicle after you put down your flag, but this shouldn't bother us too much. If you have indeed activated the flags in the mission control center, there should now be a small flag icon right at where my vehicle icon is at display. I am instead using the Kerbal Engineer Rendezvous option since I said I forgot to activate the flags. Now there's a mod called Trajectories which I linked in the description of this video which we are using to get a precise landing. The mod takes atmospheric physics into account and can calculate a precise trajectory of where we are going to land. It is also including the planet's rotation in the calculation so your point of impact with the ground will be marked by the huge X symbol. Now the important part is that the mod's calculation is based on a steady drag to your rocket or SSTO, therefore it will only be accurate if you have your ship constantly pointed at pro or retrograde, but since I'm uh, using braking turns I have to overshoot the Kerbal Space Center by just a little bit so that I will in the end have my precise landing as well. You can however just put the X directly on the KSC and then don't have those braking turns at all which will also make it way easier and it, it is of course um, less work. Now we are just warping to our next maneuver which we have just set up to get us back into the atmosphere and we start burning retrograde of course but don't forget to flip your ship around afterwards because you will probably have a bad time if you forget to do so. When the re-entry effects are starting to appear you can slowly go into braking turns. At uh, higher altitudes the effects will be kind of negligible but you can still see very small deviations at the G meter which of course measures the forces which are applied to your ship. Those will rise when you decelerate faster than usual, which we are achieving by having a bigger surface which we can push against atmospheric particles, namely the air.
you can also see how your X marker is steadily coming closer to our target because the mod recalculates the trajectory in real time and you can see our braking turns are really coming into play here. Once we have slowed down enough we can already see the KSC and from there on it's just a glide to the runway. I really hope you were able to learn something here and please don't hesitate to ask questions on stuff you didn't quite understand or catch and where I should go into more detail the next time I film a tutorial. So thank you for watching and have a good day.